I fell into boxing because I've always been in some sort of contact sport other than work out on my own to keep in shape, but most importantly, still have that contact aspect of it. I just kind of embraced it, loved it, and um, I enjoy it. It pushes me to another limit. That's something that I was doing before my accident, and that's something that I just kind of dove in more to just want to get better. So I watch a lot of boxing, right? And um, I take the classes a lot. I'm not an instructor, but people like to think I'm an instructor. So I help out people um, when I can. And it's just the, the rush, the contact. This all happened March 13th, 2010 on a Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. That's why most of my scars are all on my left side, if you see my face. Um, so I was unconscious in the burning car and um, my hands were resting on the steering wheel from what I was told. Um, that's why they had to amputate my hand because uh, I was burnt very badly. I was uh, in a medically induced coma for two and a half months. When I was in that coma, some good, most of them were, were very bad. That's when they did the amputation on my hand, right? And so I have a bunch of grafted skin on my left arm and on my part chest. And as you can see on my hand here, I have grafted skin here. And also if you see on my face, right? All this is all grafted skin. Um, the cool thing about it is that all this grafted skin came from my body. So it's amazing how your body kind of reproduces itself. Um, so I have a bunch of patches on my legs and my arms and my back where they remove the skin and whether they put it in a machine to stretch it out like they use for my arm and my hand or if they just remove skin from my back to apply it to my face and um, the top of my head. It was so bad that um, I was sprawled out on the floor and I was tied down and doctors were chopping with an ax <laughs> my hands and my legs off. And there was, and I looked to my right and there was this gate and there was my mom standing there. And as I thought this was happening to me, you know, I'm looking over to my mom wondering why she's not doing anything. I remember there was a period of time when I was at the second hospital where I did not speak to my mother for about a week or two and, and that affected her. Um, and I was just very angry and I was very upset that she would allow this to happen to me. Eventually, I started to talk to my mom again. I don't know what the icebreaker was, but um, we started to talk again, but there was a period for a week where I wouldn't let her come in the room and I didn't want to see her and I didn't want to talk to her because I was very pissed off at her talks uh, with my mom and then me realizing this is this is the steps I'm going to need to take to kind of building myself back up. I rode Bart and I picked the wrong day to ride Bart by myself um, because I remember like it was yesterday uh, there were there was a baseball game and the Bart was packed and I was sitting in the back with my sunglasses on and I had a um, hoodie on and so I sat in the back and just kind of absorbed everything. I can remember the, the eyes and the talks that were being made and being looked towards me. I figured I needed to get out of my comfort zone. So I removed my hat and I removed my hoodie and I removed my, my sunglasses. And I sat up straight and I just took it all in. So I got off the BART, walked down New Montgomery and um, walked into the, uh, to the fitness center. Then my coach came and uh, walked over to me and walked me over to the class. The class was still going on. This is my first time by myself out. It was just different. And so I just remember sitting there watching the class, crying because I was not participating crying because there were other people working out who were staring at me, crying because I was just freaking crying. <laughs> I always ask myself, why did this happen to me? Um, but that question was never answered and that question is never going to be answered. So I stopped 
asking it. My reason for making it this far is me never doubting myself. I'm confident in myself and I'm not shy to show it. I always walk like there is music in my head. And so I'm always in my own world doing what I have to do and enjoying myself. I'm trying to stay in my lane, be incident free, maintain my job, be active, be healthy, meet new nice people, and, and, and you know, just try to do my part when called upon.